Hey everybody, Jim Davis along with the Buckeye Boy. It's the Dugout, our little weekly video segment where we talk about things we kick around on the Jim Davis Show weekday mornings 7 to 10 on the Team Sports Network. Let's lay things off with the Saturday night NFL matchup, your Browns against my Broncos who pretty much, uh, I guess, kind of pissed away their chance to be a playoff team after the loss to the San Francisco 49ers on Sunday. Vance Joseph, man, he loves him some Baker Mayfield, doesn't he? Mayfield was a guy, of course, he coached, so to speak, at the uh, Senior Bowl last yeah. year when the Broncos. Coached him up for a whole series. <laughs> Come on, it was like two series, right? It was oh, like, okay, two it was like two series last year. But uh, he talks about what a great job he's doing, being aggressive with the football, all the playmakers that he has around him with Jarvis Landry, uh, the other Chubb, Nick Chubb, yeah. who's uh, really emerged as a big-time running threat. Chubb on Chubb crime on Saturday with uh, Bradley Chubb against Nick Chubb. The Cousins. I, I, I don't I, – I, who, who doesn't love Baker Mayfield? That's the only way I can respond to that comment. Who would not love Baker Mayfield as a coach? I'll be honest. I, I, I said this a long time ago. I was kind of like I, I was kind of like Baker Mayfield. I like Baker Mayfield, and I think the stuff that everybody gave him a bad rap for coming out of college, mm-hmm. and now everybody praises him for now as an NFL quarterback. What a gritty the fire, competitor! The fire, gritty yeah, leadership. That's what I love the whole time. That's what the Browns before is like. What a jackass! What right. a bad sport! And they now had, it's those are things that people love about him, which I said I kind of right. loved those things about him then. They've had talented offensive players around some physically gifted quarterbacks but they don't have the guys that just for lack of a better term don't give a f about what other people think and that's kind of what baker mayfield is at and you know the browns are playing well and uh you know they're they're a lurking they're a lurking in the tall grass hey look to quote the killers he's the man he don't give a damn he doesn't right now and the broncos could stand a quarterback like that you had Vance Joseph this week, while he was heaping praise on Baker Mayfield, his current quarterback, Case Keenum, kind of going, you know, I just got to start making some plays down the field. And Keenum acknowledges that. But, boy, uh, you look at the – To who? Yeah, you look at the chart last week of all the incomplete passes, inaccurate throws. While he didn't have a horrible game, it was not a great game last week for Case Keenum against San Francisco. And he's not the reason they lost, but he certainly wasn't the reason they came back and had a shot at winning that football game. We'll see how it goes. Broncos and Browns, Saturday night NFL action on 961 K Star Sister Station and 14 out of the team and rifle pregame starts at 4 o'clock. The uh, Hot Stove League underway with the winter meetings in Las Vegas. Jeff Breidich making a move as far as the hitting instructor goes. Dave Madigan, the longtime uh, MLB journeyman, last three years has been the hitting coach of the Arizona Diamondbacks. He's your new guy to try to fix all the problems the Rockies had offensively in 2018. Great. What? Dave Magadan was a 270 career hitter over 17 years. Fantastic. I'm glad the Rockies are making moves to solidify their soft-hitting catcher position, their oft-injured first base situation. I'm glad they're shoring this issue up with Dave Magadan. That's fine. It's fine. Hire. Great. But tell me when you sign Wilson Ramos, okay? And Will Myers. What's wrong with Will Myers, Jeff Breidich? I'll take Will Myers. They need to fix the catching position. They need to get a bat at first base. Let's hope that once Bryce Harper and uh, Manny Machado, that their deals get done, that that sets the market, and then some dominoes start to fall the rest of the way. Hopefully it's not like last year where you're waiting and waiting. There's still dominoes set up from last year. (laughs) Yeah, from last year. All right, and also the Colorado Mesa basketball teams, uh, they play their final games before the holiday break at Metro State on Saturday. Shadron State on Sunday. We'll have uh, those games on the Team Sports Network this weekend. Uh, I had a chance we did to talk with uh, Kylan Rigsby from the women's team and also Tommy Nuno from the men's team. A couple of great interviews, yeah. and you can check that on our podcast as well. But, uh, boy, the, I really like the way the Maverick men have responded to Mike DeGeorge in this first year as, his, as the head coach at CMU. Taylor Wagner and the women playing some great basketball. And to see the way uh, this uh, this men's basketball team, though, has made, I think, a tremendous progress in year one it has been fantastic to watch. Well, it's not even year one. I mean, it's still the well, second for, month. Yeah, you know, exactly. Not even a full it, season. It took them to, I think it was January 6th last year to win their seventh game. They won their seventh game last Friday night. They're averaging 10 points more per game so far this season they're a lot of fun to watch, and they're they're a better basketball team. And you can tell it, guys are kind of they're staying invested all forty minutes. Even 
you know, when they, they, they blow a 10-point lead to Colorado School of Mines, it's not apathy that is causing them to lose. They're mad game. that they blew that yeah. lead and lost that game in overtime. You, you can tell this team has a much different attitude with Mike DeGeorge as the head coach. And guys like Connor Nichols and Brandon yeah. Hoffer have really in their senior year bought in to what Mike DeGeorge is doing. The women's team jacking up threes all over the place. Jaylen That's Durant, a lot of fun to watch. Jalen Duran's been great. Just a quick thing about high school basketball. Let's see, we've seen Coleridge get out to a 7-0 start and boys play. They beat mm-hmm. Rifle the other night. Rifle also off to a good start as well. That that's being a team their first that's loss. doubled their win total from a year ago already through five games. Absolutely. Keep your eye on the Fruita Monument and Palisade boys. They're both playing really well right now. Uh, likewise with the Fruita girls, Montrose girls, off to fantastic starts as well. Uh, don't forget, you can catch the Jim Davis Show weekday morning, 7-10 to 10, on the Team Sports Network. See you. Go Browns. Go Broncos. Go Browns. Broncos.